uh, we, we kind of, it's nice to start outside the actual baptistry, uh, so it kind of symbolically represents the first, the first time Maximus comes into the church. This is, this is uh, the moment, this is the day, was it June 2nd, yeah. where Maximus becomes a member of the body of Christ. We pray for him. Almighty God, send us your Holy Spirit that has called us here in faith, called this family here in faith to make their son part of the spiritual family of God. Parents, what name do you give your child? Yes. Maximus. What do you ask of God's church for Maximus? Absolutely. You've asked to have your child baptized. In doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training Maximus in the practice of the Christian faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to keep God's commandments as Christ has taught us by loving God and neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? We do. God parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? We are. Maximus, Maximus Charles. Oh, he's paying attention. <laughs> the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Jesus Christ, our Savior, by the sign of his cross. I now trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He's ready to go now, see? He's now called the child of God. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's spirit. In holy communion, Maximus will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. So in the name of this child, in the spirit that makes us brothers and sisters, let us pray together the words Jesus gave us to rescue us from the kingdom of darkness and to bring us into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child. Set Maximus free from original sin. Make him a temple of your glory. Send your Holy Spirit to dwell with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Maximus, we've anointed you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ, our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, now the great sign of this sacrament is this water. God uses water to give his divine life to us who believe in him. We turn to him now and ask him to pour his gift of life from this font onto this child he has chosen. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. 
Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. And after his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Father, look now with love upon your church, unseal for her this fountain of baptism. By the power of your Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You created Maximus in your own likeness. Cleanse him from sin now in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, Maximus is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him today is kept safe from the poison of sin, to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, Renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church in which this child is about to be baptized. So I ask everyone here to respond to these questions with I do. Brothers and sisters, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin. I do. do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Okay, here come the good ones. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Maximus, I baptize you in the name of the Father. He likes it. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. This is his first bath ever.
the torch. <laughs> Kathy, you recognize that candle? Yes, I do. Vigil. Maximus received the light of Christ. Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened by Jesus Christ. He is to walk always as a child of his light. May Maximus keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. And when the Lord Jesus comes in glory, may Maximus go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Maximus, the Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word. And may he soon touch your mouth. Yeah, there, I touch your mouth. <laughs> to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. God the Father, through his Son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May God bless now the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with him in thanking God forever in heaven. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we know that God alone is the giver of all life, human and divine. May God bless the father of this child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are all reborn to eternal life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon all of us here, his sons and daughters. May he make us always, wherever we may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace with this new child of God. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.